Oklahoma State is coming off the best season in school history, and the nation has noticed. The Cowboys are ranked number eight, their highest preseason ranking ever. The Oklahoma State offense should again be potent and might help the Cowboys win their first Big 12 title. But for that to happen, the defense and the special teams have to rise to a championship level. Well, obviously we feel really good, you know, and uh, you'd be nuts as a coach if you didn't feel good. But, uh, you know, we got to stay healthy. That's going to be a real uh, key for us. Uh, we were replacing a lot of good players. Uh, you know, we lost five or six starters. and and uh, uh, But everybody in the country does that, you know, and we've got some real quality guys coming. We've got a great mixture of, of guys with uh, a lot of experience that are good players. We've got a, a lot of young, hungry guys that uh, are very, very talented that hadn't played. So it, it, it's a nice situation to be in as a coach. It's kind of hard to improve on last year, but, you know, this year I can say we have more younger guys, you know, that have to step in and make plays. And, I mean, we're just going to fly around and try to make more turnovers than we did last year. Replacing leading tackler and team leader Ori Lemon and both starting defensive tackles will be priorities for the defense. However, the overall speed and depth of the unit should be a strength. We just have to rally together as a team and everybody just pick each other up and just work hard. And uh, us as seniors, so us guys who have to step up and just make plays, you know, um, somebody's going to have to step up and be the man and just take it, take it by the reins and just roll with it. Special teams have been a strength, particularly when it comes to kickoff and punt returns. The Cowboys hope that punter and kickoff specialist Quinn Sharp, who has a powerful leg, can replace four-year starter and Groza Award winner Dan Bailey as the team's kicker. The two concerns on offense involve replacing running back Kendall Hunter and offensive coordinator Dana Holgerson. Joseph Randall and Jeremy Smith figure to share the load as Oklahoma State's main runners. I mean, working behind Kendall, it's not like he's just a guy that talks a lot, but you, can, you get to see him, be around him every day, see how he works, see how he gets better, the things he works on, how he responds to coaching. Just little di different things that you can learn as a young player. He was a great role model for everybody in our room. I feel more experienced, I can say that, and uh, I feel like I'm stronger and I'm a better player now and mentally than I was a year ago coming in. Todd Monken takes over as offensive coordinator. He's working with a veteran quarterback and Heisman Trophy candidate Brandon Wheaton. It's been really, really good actually. You know, we've we have uh, really haven't tinkered with a ton of things, but it's been the adjustments we have made have been really, really sound. I mean, they're solid and, and they're for a good reason. Uh, you know, some things you saw in the NFL, they were the same type of things we did now, but maybe just a little tweak, and, and we tweaked them here, and it's, it's really helped our, our uh, the way we move and getting different, like getting Blyton more involved in some stuff and, and getting Joseph Randall involved. I mean, it's, it's uh, I mean, some of the stuff he did was, was brilliant. I'm excited about it. Whedon and junior wide receiver Justin Blackman, last year's Bolitnikoff award winner, form one of the most feared pass catch duos in the country. We, we got a lot of talent, you know, a lot of experience to come back. So, I mean, with the, uh, if you look at that, you know, in our numbers from last year, we should be better than last year, but I'm not just going to right out say that we are better than last year. I think I can be lots more better. Uh, there's lots of things I can work on to uh, better myself, and, uh, you know, that's what I'm going to try to do. You know, this year, this this year is a little bit different than last year. You know, we were uh, flying way under the radar, and I think it was, you know, it's a great, it's it's a good, it's a good problem to have. Guys are really excited, and uh, it's gonna be a fun year. For Big12Sports.com, I'm Wendell Barnhouse.